In today's digital world, data related to countless fields of study is being gathered at an unprecedented rate. The ability to analyze and convert these massive data sets into understandable information will revolutionize the world of research, which is why at the 2012 SIAM annual meeting, Big Data was a big topic. At the panel on Big Data in Applied Mathematics, Computational Science, and Statistics, representatives from academia, industry, and government discussed implications and initiatives surrounding big data. Just from a volume perspective, we're producing tens of petabytes of data from our climate models and from observations from satellite data and the many other different diverse observations that we have of the Earth system, then we have you know, similarly huge data sets. So that's one aspect is that we've got very large data sets. According to Dr. Shuckborough, one of the challenges of big data related to her field of climate study is the repurposing of large organized scientific data sets to non-scientific applications. There's a sort of additional angle, which is when you move away from the pure science and into the applications. So, for example, if you're some organization that has an interest in understanding how you're dependent on the weather, um, then you're starting to talk about much less structured data sets. Um, it might be something to do with your sales of t-shirts or something like that, where you've got um, data that's, that's much less easy to um, represent in a normal uh, structured data set. We've made a lot of uh, advances in storage and to some extent querying and essentially warehousing, but extracting the knowledge is something where it requires more than just that. It requires development of mathematics that can do so more effectively. Predictive analytics is one of the terms that is used uh, using statistical techniques for predicting whether it is consumer behavior or whether it is uh, private sector in terms of marketing as well as uh, fraud detection. Or for the government in terms of the security, I think the statistical algorithms and uh, mathematical tools are, are very helpful. Just like we have shape in a regular space and a plane and so on, so uh, data sets also have shape. The shape actually encodes information about which data points are like which data points and which points are far apart or, or unlike other data points. In his talk entitled On the Shape of Data, sort of Professor Gunnar Carlson of Stanford University explained how topology can be used to analyze and check the quality of a data set. So oftentimes what will happen is as you look at a, a data set through these network models that I discussed, um, what you'll find is that there will be some points sitting off to the side or there will be points that are sort of one-offs that, you know, that are single points, singletons. And in both cases, one becomes suspicious about those points since they're not with the rest of it. So what we found in a lot of cases is that oftentimes you have very big data sets where it's very, very hard to do quality control and sort of understand how things might have gone wrong. But you're sort of pointed at it with these, uh, with these methods because you'll find a group sitting off to one side. And in one example that we found working with a biologist, we found that actually it was data that had been mislabeled. And, you know, this sounds like a trivial matter, but actually it isn't. Uh, the whole idea of quality control of the data is a huge, huge problem. The focus on big data continued in a mini symposium discussing the importance of massive graphs to the analysis of big data in fields including bioinformatics, social media, and cybersecurity. Jeremy Kepner, a researcher at MIT, emphasized the importance of studying and analyzing big graphs. It's everything, basically. I mean, they are really the tool that people kind of reach for first in, in, those, in those domains. The data that they generate is just very naturally represented as graphs, and, you know, the need for people with a sort of very strong mathematical background but interested in the implied problems makes SIAM really a great, you know, venue for this type of thing. Big data are here to stay. And I think uh, the computational, mathematical, and statistical sciences are key to innovation in this data-centric world. I think big data is the next big thing.